Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Ladies What Pod, episode 21. The numbers are getting quite high now, Liz. I know. I'm getting a bit of a nosebleed. <laughs> Good morning, because we're recording on Easter Monday morning. Are, yes. Very, yeah. very early one for us, but we're a bit overexcited. <laughs> it's just um, a bit. It just a bit. So welcome from me, Claire Jones, in the wilds of Cambridge, on the edge of the fens. And hello, Liz. Hello, uh, you, hello. Uh, you're in your usual I'm spot. in my, my usual spot and it's sunny out there. It's sunny. Oh, there. No. My headphones what is this globe headphones. in the sky? I don't I'm know. not used to it. Either that somebody's <laughs> left a light on somewhere, but it looks rather glorious out there. So that's, that's quite nice. <clears throat> For those at home with small children, you can chuck them out in the garden. Well, yeah, you, can plenty... you can do that in the rain, to be honest, but they, they do get a bit stroppy, I've noticed. And there's plenty so. of leftover puddles for them to get muddy in. Yes. Oh, certainly yeah. around our way, anyway. Yeah. It's good. Or uh, drowning in some Or oh, drowning, yes. Yeah. Blimey. Yes. Yeah. So, more of that when we talk Bedford. Um, yes. Oh, God, yes. So, so we've got to start with a wonderful weekend of rugby. Um, Everything. Started on Friday night by, I think, it's blooming close to that Munster performance. Yeah. Uh, the performance of the season against the champions, Saracens, yes. at the Gardens. Wow, what a performance. What a performance. Absolutely electric. I mean, I, you know I was nervous. I was pacing, pacing. I was doing my bit. I thought about going to the loo and we scored the first try. I went to the loo and we scored the second try. So I did my bit. And then I was pacing because I thought, they're going to come back. I know they're going to come back. This is going to hit us. <laughs> so I was very stressed. Um, but you see, I think if I go in thinking, oh, it's going to be awful, um, and then anything else is a plus. That's what I think. I think so. the unusual thing about Friday was so many people who were nervous. Um, I mean, I have people come, all sorts of people who don't normally talk to me, just coming over to express the fact they were nervous. It's like, well, it's lovely to meet you and uh, hope you feel <laughs> so, better. <laughs> I'm just doing my counselling session here with some cameras. Yeah. Yes, uh, it was very strange. And even Nick Mullins referred to it when I listened yes. back. Yes, in he did. Commentary, the people approaching him. Bless us, we are a funny lot. Um, well, I think, do you not think we, we've, I was going to say, we've, we flattered only to fail so often in the past, especially against Saracens. They have, the wheels have come off so often, especially against Saracens, that I think it was just like, it's a sort of, um, oh God, I've seen this film before and I didn't like the ending last time feeling that, uh, that yes, you know, we were we were flying high. If that if that game had been last week, we'd have been going. Oh no, no problem. We we. But the the fact that we were so poor against Bristol, and then we got Saracens, who'd been so electric against Harlequins. You just thought, oh. oh, oh. So, but sport sounded like a I was in a Carry On film there, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, very good. So, I do um, apologise. Yeah. Ooh, matron. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be on somewhere today. It's an Easter Monday. Bound to be. Um, bound, bound to be. That and the great escape. That and the great escape, yeah. So um, I would say that uh, I wasn't nervous at all. Now, yeah. I don't know whether it's because I'd seen training and I'd seen how hard the lads had responded. to. It. I mm. mean, they, they, they clearly, they had their review. They said what needed to be said. They, and by the time I saw them a few hours later for the training, they got it out of their system and it was and it was back to let's go to work, let's go and work out what we're going to do this weekend. And uh, yeah, it was a really hard training session. Um, they, you know, they put the hard yards in. Um, I think the missing question at Bristol, by the way, was what was the shape of your D? Because I didn't hear. I, 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 do you know, I said that at Walking Rugby. I said, <laughs> I know what happened at Bristol. Nobody asked. What's the shape, no, what's of, your the shape of your D? I did yeah. shout it at one point on Friday night just to make everybody feel at home. I confused the <laughs> heck out of those sitting around me. What? I said, I don't know. I don't know what it means either, but it's very important. It's a question it's very that important. has to be asked. And then everybody's fine. Yeah. Um, the far start that we wanted <sighs> um, absolutely happened. And yeah. um, and actually, I think it revealed something about something that was going on in the Saracens team, because there were a few people who looked like they were running. 
not necessarily on fumes, but they weren't their usual ebullient yeah. cells, Jamie yeah. George. Um, so, uh, at which Alex Coles happily took advantage oh, of. He kept trotted in yes. for a, a try. Um, so, I, yeah, it was it was an all round performance from it everybody. Was. It was. It was. It was and we'll talk about who we want to name for the ladies what pod player in a moment. Um, but I was surprised how nervous people were. I get that there was a fallout from the previous week. I get that it was Saracens. But this team have beaten some big names, including Saracens at the Stone X. And so we've done the double the, over them. Was, we've done the double over them. And so it was the level of nervousness that I found quite surprising. Um, maybe we needed it as a team, the nervous energy. Um, I, it's well, certainly... Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, just... It's, it's, the atmosphere, though, from the start was was pretty high up there on the scale of good atmospheres at the gardens. Not not quite not quite Leicester, not quite too long, not quite Munster, but we it was in I would say in the in the top comfortably in the top ten of of ex- oh absolutely F-fissing. absolutely <clears throat> yeah 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 and and uh, congratulations to the away Saracen support who were vocal yeah. and fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you put up a good fight, guys. Um, yeah, and kept going right to the end. You, you always like to hear in a way support that keeps going regardless. So, uh, yeah, it was it was a, it was a good it was a good sound emanating from the ground. So those little flags. This is back now. You, yeah, sorry, I went. I did. Yeah, My memory, apparently, I hadn't got enough memory, which well. you know, it's just age, isn't it? Just age thing. <laughs> anyway, back now. Anyway, back with the little foundation flags that have been handed out. Um, oh, yes. And, and to the person who was whinging on about black, red and white, those have always been the colours of the foundation. I know. Based on the original colours of the Saints. Come on! Get with the programme, kids. And was... you know what? Who cares who we're playing that they're playing in red? They, yeah. the Saracens do not wave little white flags. So, um, Well, I well, think they, they did, actually, did on Friday. On Friday. <laughs> Don't no, no, yourselves. I know. As, as, somebody, as somebody put on Facebook, I've got a mate who needs some nits picking. Can you help? <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was a very, a very apposite response. Yeah. So yeah, so the atmosphere in the ground was absolutely brilliant. Mm. Um, and uh, Pete Nussel, he is a class performer. Pete Nussel, yeah. for those of you who don't know is our wonderful PA announcer who had a hard act to follow with he Uncle did. Jeff, but he does an absolutely cracking job. However, his voice may seem quite familiar because yesterday he was in Manchester at the uh, Sail Sharks extra game. But if you listen to him, he's a completely <laughs> different person at there. the Salford Community Stadium than he is at Franklin's Gardens. And also, if you watch Rugby League, you'll hear his voice there because... He does a lot of rugby league. Um, but Pete was absolutely superb on Friday. I thought he did a brilliant job um, with the ge- almost impossible game at half time. I was I mesmerised. No idea how what we was kept going that on there. <laughs> it was I had no idea, but we all watched. It was like, ah, oh, well, Woody's helped somebody win a t shirt. Anyway, yes. So how? Uh, well we don't know how, whether it was an eagle, we don't know. We just we don't know how. But go with it, go with it. Yeah. So well done, Mr. Nuttall. You did a fabulous job as usual. Yeah, um, I, I don't think the halos uh, helped. Yeah. I do think the halos helped add to the whole. Well, special I can't, shout I'll, out. Hold, hold your fire. Okay. Yeah, special shout out in a bit. Hold your fire, halos. Oh, just because you're wearing gold. Gold. I know. I anyway, um, <laughs> more of halos shortly. Okay, um, more halos shortly. Yes, I'm sure you want. We want to talk about those. More Halo shortly. So I, I thought it was a brilliant performance. I think um, I, I think we put, as they constantly say, in, in co- the coaches constantly say, we put our game plan on the pitch. We did. We played our way. We didn't let them dictate. In the past, we've let them yes. we've succumb to them, and we just didn't do it. We just yeah. kept going with our game. Uh, and it caused them to make mistakes. It so, did. And I think the critical 10 minutes were the last 10 minutes of the first half. Yes. Oh, my when, God, yes. As we did in London, as we did in London when yeah. they were hammering at the door yeah. 
They were the ones to make the mistakes. Yeah. They didn't score. We went into the shed 17-10 up, and they would have been thinking, how the heck did we not score? And the answer is, we knew the shape of our D. We did. We obviously knew the shape of our D. That not only did they not score, we didn't get a penalty. In the past, we would have shipped penalties like nobody's Ooh. business. And our discipline in that last 10 minutes was amazing. Amazing. Previous seasons, mm. we would have shipped penalties. There probably would have been a penalty try and a yellow card. And that the, we kept yep. our, the shape of our D so perfectly. Whatever that shape is, I don't know what the shape is. But we kept it. And uh, all was well. Well, we kept it. All was well. Um, and I think we also, uh, we, uh, he probably, he's going to feature later on in the discussion about, uh, oh, oh, she's looking at wires I've, and things. I've, oh, now, I've lost my, now I've lost my really chat. Gonna... I've lost my chat since I went out. I've lost my <laughs> chat with the list. Would you like it back? Yes, Would please. you like it back? We, actually, so we do prepare for this, folks. And, um, and we get a list up there. It's there now. Otherwise, ugh, we'd be here for hours, hours just chatting more. Well, we could talk objects. rubbish. Any, yes. Yeah, for yes. all day. Have um, been known to. So, yeah. I, I, I would like to... I'm going to have an alternative award okay. for Sergeant Wilson Award. Oh, I think so, yes. So, Sergeant Wilson is, of course, currently injured. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and, Anybody still join looking, it? It, it, I think we ought to explain it, for people who have not been with us since the early days, if you're joining now, Sergeant Wilson is, um, is the George Furbank style of captaincy, as in... Aladad's army, young people go and look. It's always on on one of the. It's Easter Monday. I'll be on somewhere. <laughs> so when it's always on on one of those channels on the second or third page, um, gold. Or so, I don't know, whatever. But um, so Sergeant Wilson, affable, pleasant. I, excuse, excuse me, awfully. Never gives orders. Always asks. Excuse me, men. Would you Very mind politely. terribly? And that's how Ferb seems to handle referees. So. We have a Sergeant Wills. He's injured at the moment, so somebody needs to step up to the plate. And, Claire, who was it? Well, it was... The, the, <laughs> the Sergeant Wilson <laughs> Award for Curtis Engagement with the referee goes to one Curtis Langdon. Hashtag powered by pikelets. Hashtag powered by pikelets, yes, yes. As I put on my uh, ex so, so, tweets, yeah. whatever, yes. Um because his conversation with Luke Pierce was <laughs> so sublime. It's like, so gorgeous. <laughs> what do you mind off when we uh, and engage? And you know, uh, uh, just, just, just yes, yes could just I, if you could. Oh, says Luke. Is there oh, anything more that I can do? To do. Help you? <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> says Luke. Yes. Okay, so. Yeah. I'll have a look. Thank you. So, <laughs> so scrum takes place. Who gives us a penalty? Home and Hose, Sergeant Wilson Award, Curtis Langdon take a bow. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. absolutely. It's well, a new it's award. Um, yes. it might not be awarded. But it's well deserved. <laughs> but if, no. If was, well, if, if, if Curtis, <laughs> Curtis continues, it might be. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> it was It was one of those moments that, oh, Curtis is talking to the ref. Oh, and, you know, given some of the hookers <laughs> we've had in the past, you want one of their mates oh, to yes. tackle them out of, the, out of this situation. Rondo. Oh, Come my this God. Way. <laughs> this could all go horribly wrong. Then I listened to what he was saying, and I got got it on my uh, ref link, and nobody around me had. And I was I was crying with laughter. <laughs> so what is this, it's Curtis? You would not believe that conversation. That's just gone. Yeah, but when we don't, really TNT. Just, it's just, it's just, TNT picked up on it as well because yeah. yeah. they 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 were. Yeah, yeah, it's marvelling at uh, Curtis's uh, I'm sure his, negotiation. I'm sure his mum would have been oh. really proud of the boy because he was so polite and it, it worked a worked charm. So well done, Curtis. Was, it did. It was, did. <clears throat> um, we do have to talk about Luke Pierce. Luke, Luke Pierce is one of my favourite referees. Yeah, I have one enormous of amounts of time for yeah. Luke. Yeah. He um he 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 lets he he, let, he he makes the game happen. He's very much yeah. in there. Come on, let's stop asking about. Let's get going. However, it it sort of took a strange twist on Friday, uh, which seemed to penalise one player in one player in particular who wasn't actually doing anything different to his opposite number. 
um, which was TJ. So Tom James, uh, rightly, he was arsing up. There was one where he was, you know, he was, yeah, doing yeah. his nails. Yes. He, uh, we were, we were asking sky. about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, look, yeah. an eagle. So <laughs> I, you can kind of get why... <laughs> You can see why Luke was like, mm, come on, mate, you're, you're taking the pee. But, um, the, yes. Uh, so he'd already been charged down by uh, McFarland, yep. who scored a very good try. Um, but then there was one where he didn't go. Luke warned him he didn't go. And the reason he didn't go was McFarland was about... A metre and a half, two yeah, metres. Was already was already this close to him. Yeah. Was already there. <laughs> yeah. And so and he'd already been charged down once. So there's yeah. a bit of empathy there where penalise the player who's blooming offside rather yeah. than the poor soul who's, who's already been charged to, down. Trying to count <laughs> down from five in this mysterious manner that only applies yes. to him. <laughs> yes. Yeah, really weird. And then yeah. Van Zyl was still allowed to ask about at the back. Yeah. So, absolutely, I'm with him. I'm with him. Get the game going. The other one was him hassling. Finn Smith. Hassling Finn Smith. Confused Finn Smith who said, but I've got 90 seconds, sir. It's not in the spirit of the game. Kick them all. Let's get going. It's like, hold on. No. So that's a foul. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's just uh, that was that was Luke, out, that was oh, outrageous, my friend. Yeah, that was outrageous. Oh, completely out absolutely of order. If, if he'd said to everybody, "Look, if the kick sees it's front of the post, I'm not going to let you take ninety seconds." If he'd yeah. had that conversation with them, and he could say, "Remember, I said." Yeah, then he but, was fine. But just simply going, you know what? I've had enough. Come on, get I'm on with it. Yeah. it taxi's like, tax tax on a meter. What? What was that? Is he on a promise or something? The lad, I don't know. It's very mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Other than that, he did okay. He did okay because you know the, yeah. the, it's a yeah, difficult game to referee, and it's high pace and uh, high pace. You'd have thought it's you'd very have high pace. There's a lot. You, to take the 90 seconds just so he could take on board water and oxygen because at one point he was breathing very heavily, I thought. <laughs> I think that was him. Well, I think everybody was. It was up and down mm. that pitch. Yeah. Up and down that. I mean, they just kept playing. It was just relentless. ridiculous. The, relentless. The F, it was relentless. So, um, yeah. So, Luke. Yeah. Calm. Yeah, calm. calm. Yeah. Don't um, the kids. Uh, so, so... So I think we know who is the form English fly off. I think we do. On that pitch. I think we do. Yeah. We do. And it wasn't Mr. Angry. Well, he was very, he was very, uh, he needed to be sent to. No, there's only room. one Mr. Angry. They can't have a Mr. Angry. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, no, I think, I think uh, Owen Farrell had got that face. Well, he's got that face anyway. I'm sorry, Owen, but really. But he had got that face. But you want to punch. When it's one of your children, you'd have sent them to the room for five minutes to rearrange it till they were a civilised human being. He got his teenage face on. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. was. He was. He was, was grumpy bear. A lot of He was grumpy bear. Oh, so, so, I There's wish a lot I'd of been a, a lit There was a lot of exchanges. He talking. Well, but there were exchanges. He was just chuntering and he wasn't talking to anybody. He was just. Oh, he was just shouting and he didn't see his teammates going, Are you, yeah, hey, have you got an invisible friend all of a sudden? Well, he tried to pass to him a couple of times, <laughs> so obviously he had. Yes, <laughs> yeah, invoking the spirits of Gregor Townsend. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Richard <laughs> Fraser Dingwall was very delighted to help him with. Anyway, more of him in a minute. Yeah. Um, but I think the fly half, form fly half, was definitely Finn Smith, who, um, wow. He's like a purring Royal Rolls Royce at the moment. He's, he is, he just, as they say. You know, he was, whereas the following week he couldn't catch a cold, bless him. He could kick sublimely. Yeah. But the ball seemed like a bar of soap and just wouldn't stick to his hands. Everything was back working. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, yeah, he, he had a fine, fine game. On, on, uh, and Friday. I, uh, when you but when well, you think he's only 21, I think he's 22, is he, next month or something? And and it's well, outrageous. That, 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 yes. So you look as well at at Archie, the talent that's coming through with Archie. Once those two get in sync, oh my goodness me, that is going to be. It's like watching. Well, you could see, you know, watching him play with Mitch and with Tom James as well. And once he and Archie get 
get their act together. I think that's going to be something special coming up. That's um, yeah, marvelous. Yeah, but you we said... love Mitch to bits, and we we want yes. to. No, we're not but, the time I'm applying, two... Mitch. You know, yes, that you're got a spent force or anything, but you are not as young as they are. Sorry, Mitch. Yes. Yes. Um, 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 moving swiftly on. Our play <laughs> yes, players. Uh, well, no, not moving swiftly on. The other fly half, fly half of the night yes, who realised uh, his dream. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Realised his dream in a Premiership game. Take a bow, Sam, Sam Matavesi. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so when Finn got binned with two minutes to go, it's like who's going to kick off? Up steps the man who practices his kicking for hours. I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen. That man, give him a tea, give him a ball. He's happy as Larry. Um, but of course, he kicks off. And uh, unfortunately, I was then stood in the technical area with Fergs and Tom Bullock, so I can <laughs> capture it not this on digital film. So there are several frames of Sam with his massive black headband. Uh, kicking off um, in a, in a and, packed yes. Franklin's Gardens very, to beat the packed Franklin's Gardens to beat yes. Saxons, yeah. In the, yeah. In, the, in, the, in the last throws of the game, so well done, Sam. That was uh, um, a priceless moment, uh, which was completely missed by the TV. Um, so we do need to talk about our player of the match, um, but maybe we talk first about player cam. Yeah. And Fraser Dingwall. And Fraser Dingwall and then play him, the Mike as well, yeah. Yes. Yes, was... player Mike. And Mike. apparently it's a vest. So yes. Liz Tyler said to me after uh, in the press room, I have to go because Fraser's going to put his vest on with his mic. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad she said with his mic because I was going to start worrying that he needed an extra layer because it was cold. Um, but no, no. He had to... So Liz was making sure all was well and the TV were happy and Fraser was happy and all that sort of stuff that media managers have to do. Um, and the thing that I learned wasn't what TNT picked on, was the sound, which I can usually just about hear when they make a tackle. Oh, and it's a sort of... Yeah. Oof. yeah. <laughs> of the air being knocked out of somebody. Um, yeah, I noticed that. Oh, yes. And, and Fraser... And Fraser clearly enjoying doing it. Yes, as he put Owen Farrell into the LED advertising. <laughs> yeah, he was having a ball, and I, I, it's it's interesting knowing knowing what what Dingers has said to you about defence in the past that he's the defence captain. Well, that makes perfect sense because he just loves his defence, and it he it was fascinating watching him. Uh, you know, and hearing saying, I've got him, you know, I'm on Tompkins and you could, the oh. the communication oh. Oh. out, yeah. yeah. Bergs, Bergs. Yes. Yeah. In, oh, oh, out. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> really work, work, you know, shake it all about. Does yeah, we've got Bergs tackling on the pitch, that would be seriously. No, Bergs. I think it's not what it calls Burger, isn't oh, it? Oh, you said Bergs. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's Burger. Mm. Yeah, Bergs, yeah. yes. That's, oh, that's the first time I've ever heard that. Yeah. I've never heard him referred to that way. He's obviously, yeah. It's, it's, um, uh, so, yeah, I, I, more of the same, please, TNT, because it, yeah, it, really it, it's not going to be the most... It, it, it's not going to be the most... Because they had Stephen Luatua the last no, time, was, which was yeah. Bleak Fest. Yeah. And I, lo I might have a lot of time for Luatua, but it didn't reveal a great deal. Whereas no. having somebody who's actually responsible for something um, yeah. and marshalling his troops and... It worked very well. The bleeping only happened. They showed last night on the Rugby Review show yes. the huddle at the end of the game. There were a few bleeps in there for obvious reasons after Saracens had scored their second try yes. in yeah. a few minutes. But anyway, moving on. I, so, I, I told you about the trauma. The Just before we get the trauma, when we got home on Friday night, ready to watch the game back again, because you do, don't you? You can't, yeah. you can't, go, you can't just go to bed. Yeah. You have to watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Recording. No, you've got to watch it again. Recording failed. <gasps> so what did you do? Well, ah. we we went to catch up and got it on the catch up ah. TNT catch up thing after we had to put yeah. things in about our account and we got it. But that then when we went to watch the rugby review because we've been watching the uh, sale game on ITV. 
when we went to watch the review, apparently our viewing card was no longer authorised. So, so again, we had to Yee. watch it on catch up. So we've had words with Sky, and they're supposed to be sending us a new viewing card. But yeah. I, I, oof, oof, did not Ooh. need that sort of trauma. So I've now watched it back twice, no. just to make sure. Just to make sure, because it's... Yeah, thoroughly yeah, we, def we definitely will. We definitely will. We definitely did. So, and, uh, <coughs> player of the match. Now, yes. Player of the match. Now, I deliberately didn't put somebody's name on the pitch so I could use your line. Mr. Angry. Oh, yes. Mr. Angry, who'd gone to, wait for it, DEFCON 3. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Ollie's... <laughs> I give you Ollie's right. slight home. Yeah. My God, that man is on fire at the moment. Yeah. And his yeah. defence, he knows the shape of his D. He certainly so, does. As much as it pains me to say this phrase, if Steve Borthwick is not watching that lad, I want to know why. Because he's got, forget Exeter Chiefs, you know, medical whatever. Yeah. Ollie is the form winger in the country. Yeah. He's Power the highest scoring pace. player yeah. in the country. Power, pace, aggression, defence, everything yeah. that you want in a winger. So please, for Flip's sake, get yes. him in the team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. But don't yes, break him. That run, that run through, <laughs> do not break him. That run through midfield, you so wanted him to score. Does it, but it was uh, almost it's, it's exactly the... the same as he did at Bristol. Where he mazes his way yep. through. Well, I say he doesn't know. It's not mazing. He's far more intent than that. He just he just goes, and there are people grasping thin air. <coughs> decent, yep. decent. And it was a fine defenders. tackle by Alex Lewington. It was amazing tackle by Alex yeah. Lewington, and and it was like that short. So anyway, but it was watching watching people grasping thin air, and even if they laid hands on him, he's so strong. His centre of gravity is not where they expect it to be. It's so low. He's, he's almost impossible to bring down. And just to, apart from yeah. Alex Lewington, an awesome display. So glad he got a try because he, yeah. And that once he's he done that, yeah, absolutely. Course, the other thing is in the, the stuff that happens off the ball, they can't afford to let him get the ball again. So it's about always having yeah. him. He takes out at least one defender just watching him for fear mm. of him getting it. And and mm. if it looks like the ball's going yeah. up, it, he causes panic in the ranks. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant player. Yeah. So, so, yeah. but I mean, player of the match, I, uh, there are so many people lining up for this. Big Trev, what can we say about Big Trev? Big Trev things went up a whole scale, a whole octave, Big Trev things. <laughs> You know, Curtis, you know, you, a centre partnership to die for. Curtis yeah. pops the ball up to Big Trev, who goes straight through the middle That's and so just keeps going. Yeah. Just... yeah. Um, he had, you know, he had Mako on toast. Uh, yeah. Mako got a couple over on, over on him, but he kept Mako quiet and eventually broke him. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it was, it was a scrummaging performance that we really wanted from the big man and i doubt he changed anything over what happened the previous week no, i don't think what so central at all. milton keynes was seeing i mean craig maxwell keys yeah was seeing we will never know mm -hmm. um, but you know big trev wonderful wonderful performance yeah and then yeah. another young young man who we've been <sighs> over the last few weeks we've been seeing him grow <laughs> um and burger odendahl Whoa, oh, we just. know exactly why Saints signed him now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, <laughs> and it put everybody on the back foot. Nick Tompkins will not want to see a Burger Odendahl shape coming towards him. Ever again. again. Because no. Burger was ever again. And he put in some crunching tackles. Um, oh, which huge he, tackles. I, I said to him, I said, well played, Burger. I, and I said, your tackling performance is off the scale. And he went, did you get any? Did you get any, Claire? And I went... Of course I did. Uh, <laughs> I've got the wrong camera, but I've got your ear. <laughs> oh, don't. Yeah, I've got oh, the right cameras this week. Oh, good, 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 good. good. Um, yes, no, 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 well written, well, well, well done, yes. Um, but, it, it, yeah, Berger was 
I, 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 we now understand why that what the well, Saints saw in him, and yeah. he is giving his absolute all for the shirt. You know, he is putting it about. He's creating space. He's working so well with Fraser, so yes. well with Finn. Um, yeah. Blooming neck. We've we've fallen on our feet with that lad. Um, but then you see, he he's, he's living uh, proof he, of my theory about a rehomed dog. Do you remember what I was saying about the ones that we've yeah. rescued? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and they, 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 I was going to say, they can't be more loyal than the ones we've homegrown, though, to be honest. But it is, they, he's, it's the difference when, when I suppose it's homegrown ones and people who've moved for money, um, and, but people who've come because, you know, they're, they're, and we've we've looked after them and embraced them and and done all the the emotional stuff and I think we did with Burger as as well as the London Irish guys as well, and um and it's really paying dividends now. I mean, um, Tom Pearson, I mean he put in a shift. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're beginning yeah. to see him back and, to his. Uh, I was going to yeah, say um, back to his best and mouthing actually, off, giving giving Ben a Bernal. Giving Ben L a few verbals was, uh, yeah, you oh, wind up, Merchant. Yes. Was, uh, uh, and Lynn Farrell, he was having a chat with him as well at one point. Mm, but, but Tom Pearson, yeah, yeah. he's like Richard Hill was, that you, he, he does, you don't, I was going to say, he's a, he's a silent assassin almost. He, he's, uh, Richard Hill was, he, you had to know what to look for to know he was there. Not showy at all, but the work rate was immense. And I felt the same with Tom mm. Pearson. You know, they get up from something and who'd be there? Tom Pearson, just just there all the time, laughing quite a lot. Uh, and I, that. and uh, I think there's a couple of a couple of shout outs. There's one player I think we're going to leave until last because you can see the list. But there's a couple of shout outs for two players who ha had had the role have had the role of captain in the last few weeks. One is Courtney, who yeah. came in, and I think it for a very tense, hyper game. Uh, I, I, Courtney's never going to be a Sergeant Wilson. No, oh, no, no. But he played an absolute blinder. And um, clearly Luke Pierce has an enormous respect for him because whenever, whenever a, a decision wasn't <laughs> through a couple, it's like, it really? Apologized. I'm sorry. Alex, Alex Moon... Ben L played Luke like a violin. Alex Moon was yeah, anyway, moving on. Billy Vunipola at the time. He was starting to roll away when he got splatted by Billy Vunipola. Nobody's going to roll when Billy Vunipola's splatted you on top of you. That was ridiculous. Yeah. And then anyway. followed up by a bit of Ben L. I mean, yeah. just seriously. Anyway, let's not go there. But it was quite clear what Courtney thought. And so Luke felt the need to explain and then realised, actually, I may have just got it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so I, I think Captain Laws was exactly what the team needed. Just Perfect. somebody was going to play it. However, yeah. up the previous week's captain, Lewis, came on. And did the business. Yes. He just got on with it. The weight of the captaincy had been taken off his shoulders. Yeah. And, you know, we needed somebody to go and secure ball, do the hard yards, and Lewis played at his absolute best because he didn't need to worry about the captaincy. He could yeah. just get on with doing. Um, I think he became captain in the end because I, I think Courtney he went off. Courtney went off. And, yeah. yeah. But I think the other yeah. thing that, that, um, Shout out to the timing of bringing Lewis on when he brought that energy back when it might have been starting to drop, and that they they the timing of the replacements I thought were we nothing nothing fell off with the replacements at all. No. And again, previous no. seasons, no. as soon as replacements have come on, it's become fractured, and it didn't at all. And it was it, it was oh, twenty across the twenty three. It was a fantastic performance. So, uh, yeah. But I'm going to make a bid for our player of the match to be Tom James. Can I, can I just put in, before I think, we, before, I think I agree, but can I just have another mention for, I know he's got one award, Sergeant oh. Wilson Award, but Curtis, I thought, played the, the, oh, game, yes. the game of his yes. life. He did, he did say to me, yes. these yes. weren't his actual words, but he said he was quite tired afterwards and i said i'm really not surprised oh yes you were everywhere i mean that his that little 
try saving falling on the ball. Where, who was it co- belting down and TNT said, oh, oh Curtis Lippenden's yeah, it- beating for pace. And he didn't. And Curtis and then they went and scored afterwards. Oh, no, hey, yeah, because that would have happened right in front of you, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. That, that would have happened uh, that, right in front. Well, only because Ben Earl was off side so, for about yeah, 10 yeah. metres. But anyway, we're not yeah. going there again. Go there Let's again. just not go there. Um, don't go there again, Claire. Don't know. Um, so, yeah, no, Curtis, I'm uh, sorry, Curtis, absolutely. He played an absolute blinder. Yeah. Um, Teo Who, Teo Who. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Dan, when he came on, was a yeah. bundle of energy well, too. Certainly... But imagine having two hookers, two hookers in the England team with that much energy. Jamie George, I, I, for how long is he going to be captain? Because he's in his in his 30s. Which everyone said, oh, that's the prime. Not mm, sure. No, no, I don't think uh, so. I think... Jamie did a very good job in a very difficult Six Nations, in a very difficult personal circumstance. Yes, he, yeah. did, he did an outstanding job. But I think Teo Dan and Curtis, interesting match pair, because yeah. they both had bring an energy and a dynamism yeah. Yeah. to a team. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's interesting. But, yes, no, Curtis outstanding. Sorry, and he you. was tired because I noticed he was sat in the changing room staring at the floor. Which is not Curtis normally. Normally he's still bouncing around, he said, complaining he said, about what's not in the flapjack. He said he was And he very was just tired. knackered. He was just he said, knackered. Yeah, yeah that was, that, yeah, that looked, was close to knackered. the words he, he looked, used when I when I gave him a hug afterwards. Yes. And he was he, he was along the lines yeah. of I'm yes. actually very, very tired. Um <laughs> Yes. yes. Um but I promised I promised him <laughs> more yeah. pikelets. More pikelets required, Mrs. Mm. Yeah, yeah, more. More. I heard rumour of double you mentioned on Friday. Oh, well, there you go. I don't think I said um, double, so I said anyway. extra. <laughs> oh, okay. haggling, haggling. Oh, uh, yes. I, I'm haggling on your behalf, Curtis. Um, anyway, so back to our back player to of the our match. Player of the match, yeah. Who, uh, who has, has worked so hard this season, so hard, and I thought had an outstanding game. Tom James. Absolutely. Um, he's one of the unsung heroes. You know, he knows he's, you know, one of a group of scrum halves behind Alex Mitchell, but he just gets his head down and works so hard. He was having a difficult evening with a certain referee, but he didn't. He just got on with his job. Thunderbird. Yeah, and that quick tap penalty in the second, oh, second half, yes. you know, he inspired. Yeah, you know, gate the energy up, keep the. Keep the pace yeah. up. Get into them. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, uh, our attack, our famed, you know, fast attack, he kept going. So, um, and he's a lovely chap. And he led the song in the changing and he's, room. And he's come on so, in leaps and bounds from being a sort of, uh, when when he was brought in, from, he came from Doncaster, didn't he? And you felt he was... He did, uh, he's another you know, Doncaster knight, yes. And he has just, he's he's obviously absorbed everything that he's been coached to do and watching Mitch and, and Mitch's game. And he plays a Mitch. We have a Saints scrum half style of play now that that Mitch plays, yeah. that Tom James plays, that Archie plays, that, that you know, it, there will be, I was going to say, if the offside is not, if not refereed properly, there will be charge downs. But they... Yeah, it's high risk but high reward, and the the rewards are coming. And I thought Tom James was was immaculate. You couldn't fault the lad, um, really. Yeah, on on yeah. Friday absolutely night, absolutely superb performance from the man. Yeah, yeah. so he is the ladies' what pod player of the That's, match. Yeah. Tom James, uh, take a bow. Um, absolutely outstanding. But now, but any anybody could have anybody I've been, could have I've, had it actually. Oh, it's a, it was one. Of, it was one of those. Yeah. It was one of those. <clears throat> a brilliant yeah. performance by the uh, team performance. So, um, but you were a bit busy on Friday. I oh, was having a new outfit. Well, as I wasn't everywhere. I was. Uh, <laughs> I was charging everywhere at one point, getting raffle tickets and all sorts of the foundation sorted out for Saint Supporters Club barrel. We don't have a table. We have a barrel in the village. But I was also in gold, being a halo. As uh, oh gold. yes, gold. Yes. Um, yes. So halos. Oh, Spand our ballet. <laughs> uh, so halos. <laughs> halos. It was the launch of the halos, which is um, 
a brainchild of Mark Darbin and the halos are uh, hopefully we will grow as a well we need to because we can't do that every week it's um so it's sort of game think games masters from the olympics and the pack from uh the 2015 world cup and even what do they call the pioneers from saracens so people who are there to meet greet and help i had a map i had a wonderful big map that i was able to help people not you as well Oh yes, oh, no, it was Josh actually Jones had a map. It was and he went, look. They've given me a map. I know. We were so <laughs> excited about, it. but it was one of those things that was really <laughs> useful. So you're standing there looking a bit weird, and then you go, "Good evening, welcome to the gardens. I have a map. If anybody's lost, so you need a prop. I think when you're doing that sort of thing, it's that. So it was really useful as a prop and um, helped quite a few people. I I greeted Luke Pierce. I will not bother doing that again. Jim got Hal What's his face, the comedian that supports oh. Saracen. Do we mention do we oh. do we mention the rugby yeah. Hal? Do we? Do you remember that Twitter he put out? No. Do we mention he put he put he put a tweet yes. out and he was coming to do a comedy thing, so either in Northampton or at Toaster, and he he put on on Twitter. Should I mention the rugby? Well, I don't know Hal. Should you try it now? <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, um, yes, yeah, so, so Tim absolutely enjoyed it. Dr. Jones absolutely enjoyed it. He was with Claire Garner on gate one. <laughs> is it the one by the ticket office? I yes, they were by the ticket um, office, yeah. Marianne, Marianne, Marianne was on gate four. Yeah, uh, we there were, yeah, there were a lot of you about. And, yeah. and, it, and I think the soft launch was a good idea because you could find out what was needed around yeah, the it, uh, stadium. We picked up one or two things to feed back. And, uh, and anybody who's thinking they what what is the halos what what is a halo can i be a halo if you contact uh christy coates at um saints she will be more than happy to add you to the list and we'll take it from there so that's christy's dot coates no, christy coates or one word at oh, is it christy coates i've got christy of course it's, yes there's only one person who's got a dot in their name and i'm not going to mention it yeah. it confuses me yeah uh, christy coates at northamptonsaints.co.uk North yeah. and yeah she'd, she'd love to have a chat with you um, yeah and it's a great idea because there are so, so, certain parts of the ground where people clearly need help um and uh, it'll grow i think it's one of those it'll grow um and uh yeah just to feel, make the gardens feel an even more welcoming place than it already well, one or two surprised is, looking but, um, gardens gardens regulars who good evening and welcome Ugh, what does she want <laughs> um <laughs> it's but, such a suspicious lot yeah. well, it, did, it did, did keep the flow going through the turnstiles as well because as soon as you saw somebody looking at their tickets you go can i help so you you know you were they were yeah. through pointed out and on their way you know you're going yeah yeah, yeah. and much yeah. faster i think yeah. so i think it, and I the think number of people I, I witnessed the number of people that tim talked to that i witnessed i wasn't stood i was going to get my accreditation at the time so which is why i was there um we went no we've got no idea and so tim was saying that he was surprised at the number of new people who'd never saints clearly saints sports because they're yeah. wearing saints colors yes. but they've never been to a game they've never been to the gardens yeah. so uh it, you know it, with it being a sellout there were a number of people there, there who'd not been to the gardens before and so it was absolutely the right thing to do to try and help yeah. them to their seats um the one flaw in the plan for tim was he ended up sat with the map because to get from his gate down to where they were supposed to be dropping them off, uh, yes, <laughs> it just wasn't possible in the yes. time. So it's that sort of thinking that you need somewhere yeah. to anyway. Yeah, I'm sure it all worked out. But he, I think, I think he absolutely it's, had a blast. It, and... it was treme it was tr absolutely tremendous fun. And the more people that come forward to do it, the better it'll be. So that you know we can do it in shifts, so that you only have to give an hour before the game. And and the other thing we realised that we can stop, we can step down sooner than we than we needed to because the last half an hour of people coming through the gates are regulars. They know where they're going because if you're if yeah. you're an away fan, yeah. you're actually in you know somewhere where you, you don't know you're in earlier and uh, no the people coming in in the last. Although half I an would hour. say a lot of there were a lot of people milling about five ten minutes after kickoff. So I think actually the crowd, some of them. 
arrived that, a lot think, later. No, uh, I don't think... Of the, uh, they, in front they, of the Carlsberg. I, I, I noticed it's in front of the churches down where you are. Yes, but yeah. I think that's... that's they, they were, they, there was a lot of people, been, and they were in front of the no, Carlsberg. No, they'd arrived already. They had arrived. They just hadn't come through from the drinking in the village and stuff, and that's All possibly right. where they the, we need a bit of a shove to get them out and through because we were there we which were is the more than the safety t- safety team yeah. rather than your role yeah, yeah. we were we were yeah. at, at okay. gate well, well done it's a great it's a ten, you know, quarter of an hour before and it was yeah people coming through knew where they were going yeah but it was good good fun so, good well, fun, well, so. well done good good fun and um and hopefully our pool of halos will, will grow, grow. You all look very fetching in your in your gold oh, and your baseball caps and or in some <laughs> cases hey halos. halos so excellent yeah. yeah um halos so great Friday evening the previous night uh, oh. Better Blues played the army but was it uh, water polo <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, I showed Dallas the picture of the bottom part of the slope and his <laughs> eyebrows shot off the top of his head. <laughs> It's like somebody could have drowned in there. Uh-huh. Um, yes, it was a bit wet. There was a huge thunderstorm, which wasn't forecast. No. Uh, we arrived in the car park and sat there watching hail and lightning and thinking, what ha- What the hell? By the time I got into the ground, Dr. T hid in the car for as long as possible. By the time I uh, got into the ground, they'd actually delayed the kickoff by 15 yeah. minutes. Not because of the weather, the water, but because of lightning. They weren't going to mm. put the players out to warm up in a lightning storm. No. Um, no. So, yes, yeah, so it was touch and go whether the, the, uh, the game went ahead. Uh, actually, it was a great showing uh, by the Beffer Blues, a, t- a team that barely played together in some instances. Uh, there were some Saints players playing. I, actually, I owe Joel Matavesi an apology because I didn't mention him in the previous match against Coldy oh. and the, because I was trying to remember who he was playing. And I don't know how I forgot Joel because he put in the most ridiculous, sublime pass out the back for <laughs> Matty Wally to score. It was a thing of beauty. So how I forgot oh. it, I've got no idea. Anyway, on on uh, Thursday we had the likes of Jordi Irvine playing, um, and yeah, it was it was a good run out. It was a really good run out. Ewan Baker, he's he's loving it. I don't think he's loving the mud, <laughs> but he was <laughs> he's loving his time at Goldington Road. So it was good to see. I only did in the end because I was soaked. I only did um, sixty minutes of the game because I had to get home to get everything dry Ready for, for Friday. Friday. I yeah. was absolutely drenched, um, and of course I was doing the community tournament on Friday afternoon, so I needed to get everything on the radiator dried out and ready to go. Um, but it was a good run out. The Blues had a very good win. Uh, I, sadly, I didn't get Ewan's try uh, because I was in getting in the car. I heard the cheer. <laughs> but he apparently scored where I was sitting, so he would have been aiming for a non-existent red hat. No, yeah, yeah. Well, kudos, kudos oh to yes, you so for, the, pul- for the non-existent red hat, then. <laughs> yes. Uh, so yeah, comfortable win for the Blues, forty-eight nineteen, I think, in the end. But mm. um, and well done for the fourteen hundred souls who turned out on a Thursday night in that. Somewhat wet. It did rain throughout the game. It was yeah. It, it was, was horrible oh, night. It was terrific. But well, well done uh, to everybody because uh, it's obviously the army's build up to the army and navy game. I was going to can I so, just the I mention of, just... the mention of Joel Matavesi actually ties in with um, something that we we glossed over the foundation night on Friday because Joel Ooh. and Tom Lockett were giving sorry, out. Sorry, Catherine. Yeah, we're giving out. I just thought I got there, Catherine. You know, far be it from me to point this out, but I got you. And you had lemon drizzle cake on Friday. Hold on a minute. Anyway, um, so yes, so Joel and Tom Lockett were giving out flags in the village, and they started off. I mean, to be honest, I don't think their heart was in it. Then they realised there was. Then they got competitive with somebody else. So they sort of suddenly started moving close to the gate and I said, you're moving forward, what's going on Tom Lockett's, they were giving, we weren't giving any out because they were giving them so we're so they, once it became competitive typical rugby players once they've got the competitive element then it was, people were being given a flag whether they wanted one or not and when Tom Lockett's thrusting a flag at you, you're going to go, yes thank you thank you, got four now but no thank you 
<laughs> yes, I I was on. I was I, there were an awful lot of people with cameras for the foundation, which I wasn't aware was going to happen. Oh, uh, which did cause me one or two. Uh, yeah, I was trying to take a photograph of a huddle, and I had this sort of series of young people oh. with cameras. So, which is great to see because I think they were the students. Yeah. But I had to go and have a chat with one of them and said, "Look over your shoulder," because of course the professionals are going. Who the hell's that? <laughs> Um, so yes, so I had to have a quiet chat saying, absolutely love the fact you're out here, my friend, but look over your shoulder because there'll be a professional camera person trying to take a photo too of Douse and the huddle and whatever. Um, yeah, so I was on charge apparently taking photographs of Fraser's boots. Oh, so I right. managed to get Ooh. Fraser's boots yes, you did. before yeah. and after the game. And a lot of, a lot of t-shirt, uh, photos. Uh, clearly this is one of those matches where, the players absentmindedly, you know, they put the training shirt on, they put their T-shirt on, and then they put their fleece on. And then, <laughs> of course, you can see this little white stripe down the bottom. It's like, it's not really the point, guys. Yeah. Uh, so there were one or two messages being sent out saying, take the fleece off. Um, yes, so one or two T-shirts revealed themselves. Um, but it was great to see. It was great to see the flags being waved in the crowd. Mm. So uh, I don't know whether the Tom Lockett, you will have a flag routine resulted in more it seemed to work. Uh, but hopefully they raised those I, I was getting loads of messages from people about the um 17 seasons oh, yes. of courtney, courtney yeah. photos which seems to be going which seem to be going very well uh, a number of people uh including jordan passed me by saying oh it's going really well claire it's like oh good i don't know how much they made in the end but um it's I great think they're that, still counting um, you know, from somebody what, asked and uh they're still yeah. counting everything up. So a tremendous number of volunteers with buckets and raffle tickets and everything. So, yeah, brilliant. Let's hope they've raised loads and loads of money. And, mm. and um, yeah, a, another fabulous uh, Foundation Day. Uh, it's their biggest fundraising event of the year. So uh, mm. we need it to go well. Um, so, yes. So the, the rest of the weekend, there was quite a lot of rugby going on. I have to say results elsewhere, with only one exception. Went our way. Leicester. Yeah, that Damn. was a shame. I went was... our way. Yeah. It was a shame. But everything else went our way. Um, and uh, so we're sitting with a, with a five-point lead at the top of the uh, premiership. Yeah. I don't think anyone's counting any chickens yet. No. Four no. rounds to go. Um but, uh, yeah, we couldn't have hoped for a better result. Um, and some absolutely – I am going to talk about the thing that's at the bottom of the list. I'm going to talk about it now. What was going on at Quinn's? Oh, well, yeah. What the hell was going on at Quinn's? That is just <laughs> – A, I, I mean, I know we had the mother all comebacks against Exeter, but yeah. um, that was just ridiculous what was going on. I mean, Quinn's – had an emotional breakdown yeah. uh, to the point that uh, they ended up with 13 men on the pitch, one of whom snuck on three minutes too soon uh, in Herbs, who then tackled Will Muir. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. result's going to stand. But seriously, uh, questions need to be asked. I think one of the challenges that I think the authorities now need to think about, because people were questioning it, is this 20-minute red card. If we can't marshal 10-minute <laughs> yellow ones, what are we yes. going to do with 20-minute red ones? Yes. No. And, and how how did oh. how did it go so wrong? Who's who's supposed to be overseeing yeah. that? Um, and yeah. why did well, the fourth fish had a bit of a meltdown? It's not that hard, yeah. is it? Yeah. Um, oh. Yes. So yeah, uh, and, and maybe it had a material effect on the result. I don't know, but it, it's it's worrying times, absolute worrying times, and uh, shows that Bath when they wake up actually can play some really really good mm. rugby. Um, yeah. Although they yeah. were playing against a team who thought they were already in the hutch having, you know, tea and yes. cakes. Yeah. And clearly yeah. they weren't. Um, but, yeah, so the results went our way. Exeter losing at sale was just the result we needed. Um, yeah, it couldn't really have gone much better. Brist Bristol story. suddenly seemed to um, have woken up as well, don't they? They they played. Fourth win on the bounce. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, and it's the second week that they managed to get their first team without any injuries back out there so uh, yeah huge difference interesting there, so. times interesting times. indeed so How interesting times uh red roses yeah um uh, yeah 
so they uh, well done to the 19,000 that went to Ashton Gate, the yes. place that should not be named. Um, yes. but uh, yeah, no, it was it was uh, a great turnout for the Red Roses, but I'm still not convinced how they're playing. Mm. No, I mean, I think they're transitioning to a new style of playing, right? Yeah, um, you know, John Mitchell made it quite he doesn't want the where, where they ended up before, which was stuff it up the jumper and, you know, yeah. basically drive over the rolling mall routine. So maybe, you know, I need to show some patience and um, stick with the plan. Um, very sad news about Helena Rowland's finger. Oh, yes, yeah. She broke her finger in the Italy game, so uh, she she's out the rest of the Six Nations. Um but yeah, well, well done, Wales. They kept battling, um, and uh, yeah, but it was an odd game. It was an odd game. I mean, you know, Wales would be pummeling England's line, and then England would go and score. It was one of those. Oh uh, yeah, um, yeah. But they're top. They're top of the Six Nations still, and if you can do that whilst transitioning to a new style of playing, you can't really complain, can you? Can you? you know, it's, you uh... can't really complain. I'm being very fussy. You, I think you are. Um, did you see? I mean, I know. Uh, did you see? Well, they've got so much talent. I That's know. the most of it. That's That is, the, oh, anyway, let's not go there. Um, England under 18s. Did you see the end of their game? No, I didn't. No, I've been, if, I've uh, been out, a bit out of the loop of other yeah, games. Well, they were playing, yeah, well, they were playing Wales, I believe, and they were losing with two, three minutes to go. And uh, they were battering the uh, Welsh line. And it looked like they'd thrown it away. And then all of a sudden, up they pop and they score. And uh, it's the bar fly half. I can't remember the young lad's name. He steps up, a cool as a cucumber from almost by the, uh, I think he's on the five metre line, slots over the winning kick. And the place goes yip yip crazy. Whoa. Utter, utter. Whoa, absolutely. Madness. And uh, well done then. Yeah, yes. brilliant. It was um, a brilliant, brilliant win. Poor old Wales looked a bit crestful because I, I think they thought they'd, you know, defended valiantly, uh, but not quite enough. Uh, and we had three lads. I'm not going to go through their names again, but Wraith was in there, you That's know. Ghosting his way through, yeah. Um, <laughs> Ghosting his way through. So, uh, well done then. Yep. Um, sadly for the England under-19s who played at Doncaster Knights at Castle Park, they yeah. lost narrowly to France. Okay. In a, I think it's like a pathway game. Uh, Will Glister and Reuben Logan were playing. Um, so they, it was a very narrow loss. Uh, but it's lovely. I, I do like the fact we've got multiple age groups now. We have, we? So it says there yeah. isn't this big gap between. No. Yeah, yeah. So we've got 18s, we've got 19s, and we've got 20s. So, uh, yeah, so they're getting, you know, uh, good game time at international level and getting to. Because these players, ultimately, mm. they go on to play with each other. So, All the way, uh, yes. Yeah. It it's, does it's make sense. Good, but yeah. interestingly, our two under 20s, two of at least two of them, would qualify for the under 19s wouldn't they henry and um archie were 18 on the 1st yes. of september so they would still qualify for yeah. the under 19s but playing under 20s yeah yeah yeah, yeah because they're so good they've gone they've gone up a up a, up a grade yeah it's, um, yeah, it's met, good to see it's I very met good somebody to see. at cheltenham who um plays in the back row for hinkley and uh he <laughs> Claims to be 38, according to his mates, that's at least his age. And he uh, he was most dischuffed <laughs> when they they decided to put ages in the programme and he was packing down with Reuben, alongside Reuben Logan at 18. <laughs> but he said he thinks that the, the lad Ouch. is absolute star in the making, real talent. And this is, he he's played, who's he played for? Playing for Hinkley now, but has played to quite a high level. I can't recall now who else he's played for. But, yeah, so he's impressed with young Ruben. And he's not a man who's easily impressed by young whippersnappers. So. Wow. Yeah. 
No, well, well done, Ruben. He, absolutely, Ruben. Um, I saw Ruben at training last week, and he was putting it about the place. He has no fear. Um, but one so young. Uh, yeah. I love the fact you and I have talked about this before that these these quite young men yeah. are playing with the senior squad yeah. and learning their trade at the top. There's no separate academy. It's you're all in together yeah. and you're learning the same way, which is I think is utterly brilliant. Um and it's standing us in such good stead as we've already said. Yes, indeed. So uh photography corner, uh photography corner uh actually I had a really good weekend with the cameras. The reason I've got photography corner is uh shout out for um, the Defender Cup, which I'm going to mention now. Oh, yes. This is the under 12. Oh. I had a fun afternoon with the cameras. Uh, coaches, if you stand in front of me, I can't take photographs of your charges. It's yeah. quite simple, really. I get a photograph of your back. Um, yes, very weird. Uh, but no, it was good. And Rosslyn Park were the winners uh, and celebrated. So, and the reason I mention it is. Uh, I think it, this might be a photograph for next year's awards because when they celebrated running off the field, it was one of the most joyous photos uh -huh. I've I've taken in a long time. They absolutely went for it, bless them. Um, and I wouldn't have got the photograph if Ben Lawrence, who's one of the community coaches, hadn't mentioned 45 seconds to go, Claire, uh, if, uh, if the score stays the same, Roslyn Park are going to win. And I thought, hold on. They're the ones closest to me. Ah. Uh, and so I swapped cameras. I went for a shorter lens. And as a result, I got the wide shot of the uh, of the celebration. So thank you to Ben for that. So that one might be in the uh, the awards. The awards have just closed oh. this year. So we'll see. Well, yeah, I don't, we'll you see. don't need Hopefully, fingers crossed. Fingers there's, crossed some, really. there's, some, there's that cracking one of uh, Tom Seabrook, isn't there? So, and Courtney, the, the aerial ballet. With uh, Courtney the starfish, on. Courtney starfish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hopefully. And I know Adam Gums, one of our photographers, has got some uh, oh, in as well. So, yes, he's Media, a, he's Media a Watch. I, I, he is a lovely chap. Yes, I, I, I was surprised not to see him. I think he was on holiday. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Pre-planned family um, holiday. Media Watch, I didn't see anything. I, well, no, I I, know, I, you know. it's going Saturday. Oh, and, it'd be, and we've got Monday's look. Monday's look east tonight in their new fancy studio. So we'll see what oh, they do tonight. See what they do. Uh, I was about to say rude weather. Not a lot, I would suspect, because um, it was Friday. I, <laughs> I, th I've got a new media watch yes. actually because I was I was um, uh, baking on Saturday morning, um, and uh, listening to Greatest Hits Radio. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I heard about. Greatest Hits Radio. Oh, Radio Six. Oh, blimey! No, Greatest Hits Radio, Northampton. Great, not Radio Six. Greatest Hits. Ooh. Greatest Hits Radio, and they do it. Greatest they, Hits. Yeah. Greatest Hits. Greatest Hits. Greatest Hits. <laughs> Gone Welsh now. Um, and uh, <laughs> yes, and they so they have news from Northampton. The sports was something about North, uh, cobblers who'd won 1-0 the night before, nothing. Then, obviously, somebody had had a word because the next news bulletin, <laughs> they led with saying, stop with the premiership. <laughs> you didn't realise. Point out there Oops. were 15,500 people watching Saints. And crammed into the garden. Five men and a dog. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a, a oh. new media watch. Oh. Media, media, listen as well as media watch. Yes, yeah. And then uh, we haven't got any new signings this week, but we have no. got some yeah. retirement. Yeah. yeah, and a very dear friend Alex of ours was a soggy and... mess, wasn't she? She was a soggy mess. She was, bless her. She had to go through it twice <laughs> um, because the first they announced Alex's uh, uh, retirement, and then they announced Ethan. Yeah. Ethan's retirement. So, Mrs. Waller, if you're on the running machine, stop a minute. Um, we don't yeah. want you falling off. Because um, yeah. she listens to us in the in gym, which is why our fitness gym. levels have gone through the roof. Yeah, which is why we're so, she we're like a, the gym. we're like racing snakes now. We are. She takes us to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whip hits, we are. Um, so, yeah, it, it, <laughs> Thanks, Sue. Yeah. My it's been amazing. Yeah. Um 
but yeah, it's 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 going to be a very strange place without a waller it's running onto weird. the pitch. Really um, weird. It is going to be weird. Um, I'm sure we'll see the two of them around the place because they're obviously going to live in the area. Um, and uh, although <laughs> I think if anyone asks Ethan about a pantomime, <laughs> <laughs> I think he's less than that. Um, yeah, I would say, um, yeah, they have, have delivered so much for this club. Yeah. On and off, off. the field. They, you know, they, they have done a, they've been wonderful servants, um, and done amazing stuff. And, you know, he, I always find it fascinating, much as I love the, the two players, but the number of people when asked their favorite front row talk about Brian Majati and Swani Tongoya. Yeah, get over nothing, yourselves, guys. We nothing with them. Yeah, we won. I love the pair of them. Well, we did win a we did win a Premiership oh. rugby cup or whatever. Anglo Welsh whenever. Oh, yes, was. we did. But yes. Anyway, yeah. No, the two, the two, the, the 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 guys who actually week in week out delivered for us, Ethan and Alex, particularly Alex in that 2014 season. I mean, his eye was out here when yeah. he scored that yeah. try. Um. But it wasn't just that. I mean, I remember Ethan at the AJ Bell, as it was still called then, in the fog in the quarter final against Sale in the Challenge Cup that nobody gave us a hope. Absolutely nobody gave us a hope. And Ethan was rampaging around that awful pitch, you know, just giving. Mm. Him and Ben Lewitt were just giving. You know the sales guys an absolutely hard time, and because they won up there, we got Quinns back at our place, and then we were on our way to you know Cardiff mm. before we knew it. Mm. So the hard yards that Ethan time and time again did uh, for the team. Um, obviously, his pantomimes are stuff of legend, and will go down in the history of of the club. Um, and there there are chopping boards all over Northamptonshire. Thanks to Mr. Wallace yeah. Senior. <laughs> so you know, uh, I, I just think it, now is not the time to say goodbye because they're still playing. But uh, uh, you know, enjoy think, the rest of it, lads. I think it's just a quick, it. a quick reflection, and yeah, we're not saying goodbye yet because there's a long way to go. But just thanks, just thanks for the for the entertainment, mm. one way or another, that they've given us, and uh, just uh, yes, yeah. of course. <laughs> That famous WhatsApp series of messages when they were playing against each other. <laughs> yes, yes. So, so, so uh, my pocket started buzzing, and, and usually I thought I'd go and have a look because normally I ignore it. And uh, it, Saints were playing Worcester uh, and uh, Ethan and um, and Alex were well. They were the uh, the uh, and it is it. It was the hooker was also involved, but the three of them were winding each other up, and Alex was being particularly oh, annoying, being which particularly was really bitterish. winding Ethan. Up. There was the sibling yes. rivalry was yes. so there, yeah. The, the big... sibling rivalry was, at, and the referee was like, "What the hell is going on here?" <laughs> to which apparently Sue did confess. Mrs. Waller did confess to standing up, saying, and shouting in her best Mum teacher voice. voice <laughs> Will you, mum voice, well, teacher and mum, yeah. will you two behave? But they, and, didn't. Um, but they didn't. And then you followed it up. But they didn't. You followed it up with, you must be so proud. So, <laughs> did one or both of them get a card as well? <laughs> and not a stern lecture, but it didn't make any difference. And yeah. I think they got, I think one of them certainly yeah. went off a little bit earlier than planned. Yeah. Anyway, it was one of the funnier. We've had brothers falling out on the pitch before, but those two uh, on that particular game. It was game the fact that we had input was, from the know. mum made it hysterically funny. <laughs> well, the thing is, you and I can imagine Sue standing up and doing that, and her other half thinking, "What the hell's going on?" <laughs> anyway, yes. <clears throat> so yes, thank so, you. Well, thank you, guys. Um, oh, no, I think it's. I think it's really kind keep, keep of you. To volunteer to have a whip to to club together to buy Sue a season ticket for next year. <laughs> I think that's... yes, yes. Yeah. Hope oh, she holds them. Your to seat. That. The padded ones. Yeah, the padded ones are really nice. Oh, yes. well, I think there might be some cl clear next to us. That'd be nice. But we'll see. Oh, oh my lord! 
Yeah. Oh my lord! Now we're in trouble. <laughs> yes. Okay. Right. So, mm. uh, did walking rugby happen? Walking on rugby, Thursday. Walking rugby did happen, and and I I was actually training. Mm. Um, my calf was. Be- I did. I was very sensible. I know this is not something that's levelled at me very often, but I was sensible. I because those physio appointments aren't cheap, and I did what my physio said, and he said go back. You know, do half a session. So I did that, and then rested. Um, so yeah, we had a good training session. But my goodness me, the barn is very noisy when it's hailing. Very very noisy when the hail's on the roof. I'm sitting in it. I was very glad I wasn't. Very, very glad I wasn't, but we I could imagine what the situation was like because the noise level in that barn, sorry, high performance centre, not on a Thursday. There's no, no barn going on at all, I can assure you. It's definitely a barn. Yeah, um, very noisy, and but it was very enjoyable. And again, um, more people that could come along for walking rugby. Uh, believe you me, you don't have to be fit. You certainly don't have to be young. And you just have to have a sense of humour, really. And uh, you don't even have to, you don't even have to have an ability to pass or catch the ball. We'll, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, I've lost my ear. I'm going to go and fetch my ear. My just, ear this morning is misbehaving. I've noticed. I'm just going to go for one. You, go, you, need to go, you need to go to the call centre ears, you see. these. I've given up with the, with the fancy ones for this. So, well, good Lord, where's it gone? Oh, is no, it? no, 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 no. Is it under the radiator or something? It's it? round the back. <laughs> well, no, it was round the back of the. Um... Yeah. Anyway, uh, there we are. I'll, I'll just do on. this. Yeah. <laughs> We're back again. Um. So yeah. So walking with we uh, Saint Supporters Club. Uh, uh, oh, you've got your big trip soon, haven't you? We've got the big trip to Harlequins with with a couple of players on each coach. Yep. Question and answer session, and just generally, just generally having a good time. Yeah. Twin. Whenever that is, twenty seventh of April, I think. Looking forward to that. Uh, I think it's sold out now. I don't think there's any coach seats left for the Harlequins. There's wow. still well, well done to everybody concerned. Yeah, there's still some seats left for Bath, but you know, I was going to say I'm still reeling at the cost of seats for Bath. It's just unbelievable. Um. Uh, they really ought to take a look at themselves and yeah uh other than that saint supporters club uh will be launching the votes for player of the season shortly uh if you're not if you'd want to now if you i think i mentioned this before but if you want to vote for player of the season for the saint supporters club if you join now for next season you get the end of this season included in your in your thing. So you get, if you want to go to Bath on the coach, you get the supporters club member discount on that and you can vote in player of the season. Uh, and you can be first to know Brilliant. about any volunteering opportunities that might be coming up for the summer concerts. That's this week's job. Get that. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. So Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, good to see. Good to see. Good. And uh, toaster under nines. Easter Sunday, they didn't. They didn't do anything. I think too many. Okay, well, too I many did under, wonder. Too many they, under. Yeah. It's probably stuff full of uh, chocolate. Really, actually, having a run out might chocolate, not be a bad thing. Yes. But yeah, yes. And I, I, I'd I, like to make a shout out to. I was going to say, I'd like to think that oh, the, the, the state of the pitches after all that rain. Anyway, it's probably. Uh, uh, you funny you should say. You should, funny you should say that. You. So I'd like to have a, a shout out and a, a moment's thought for Mr. Andrew Miller. Mm. Our mm. lovely groundsman. Um, the back pitches <laughs> were flooded at the top end, which meant they had to play oh, no. the Defender Cup on the main pitch. Oh, no. So poor Andy. Yes, obviously, it's the biggest tournament of the season, so they couldn't yeah. Yeah, yeah. call it off. So Andy, Andy will be having a... A sobbing moment this morning as he looks at his pitch. Yes. Uh, they, all the parents had to stand behind the hedge. It was very. I was thinking, what the hell's going on? And then I realised what was going on when I when I arrived because they were all behind the hedge, and the coaches and the players were allowed. But even even then, only in certain parts because they were trying to protect the uh, 
protect the pitch. Um, oh, but dear. yeah, it would have been stressed. Um, so yes, and he just what's he call it when they scarf it and then seed it ready for the spring. I don't so know. I don't know. That's anyway. a gardening thing. I don't know. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, so yeah, so a shout out to poor Mr. Miller, who's probably sobbing as it was. You know, he's got. Uh, if all goes to plan, we've got three weeks on the bounce potentially playing at yes. home. Yes, yeah. So the main yeah. stadium pitch is going to go through it a bit. Yeah. So he's got a busy few weeks ahead of him. I mean, he may have had seven weeks off. His pitch is about to go through, but it looked amazing as usual. I mean, you know that track. He must is have. Just he must have loved that seven weeks off with nobody on his pitch at all. He must have been really happy. Mm. It was on my pitch. I could just go and look at the grass growing. If the weather. <laughs> No, well, you see, the problem was the weather, oh, and then yeah, it, it went awful. cold. Yeah. So, you know, groundsmen are never happy just no. not for us. No. So, yes, mm. it's, uh, it's um, yeah, so shout out for Mr. Miller. Yeah, don't worry. They love <laughs> your pitch. Uh, and now, and then this weekend coming, so I'm going to be doing training on Friday because it's a funny week because we've got a Sunday game. So I'm yes. going to do the training session on friday that has fallen um, very well for but, us actually hasn't it that we had friday and then sunday game so in a big game on friday another huge game on sunday and we've got chance that extra couple of days to recover has really fallen hopefully fallen well for us it, it, yeah yeah and um and it meant the lads had monday off monday off is a big thing um, oh, right, so yeah. they had the whole easter weekend off because yeah. of it so um yeah, so Munster are coming to the gardens. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm there, so excited. There will be Saints flags. Good. We we are helping Ooh. give out Saints flags. Saints Supporters Club uh, will be giving out Saints flags. That if you can't find them, I'll be surprised. But find our barrel, which is next to the Saints store, between the Saints store and the vegetarian food there'll be loads of flags there so come along at the flags to really you know we've got really, a, you need tom tom if tom he's not lockett, playing if he's you need not, tom lockett like him and joel yeah, yeah competitive on. flag handing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> um bedford are at nottingham on friday night uh i'm not going up to nottingham i'm having a weekend off so sorry the blues uh and Lady Bay in the dark is not my idea of a good time. Mm. I've done that before. Uh, they have candles, not lights. Uh -huh. um, and uh, although good luck to Nottingham, you've had a difficult season because they were flooded out um, oh, earlier yeah. in the season. So good luck to them. But, yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, but then we've got Munster and uh, the start of potentially a Jeez. really interesting end to the season. Oh, my Lord. Oh my lord! It's going to be a good I'm one. Not even thinking. Uh, I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm taking it a game at a time, because otherwise, you know what will <laughs> another another such sporting <laughs> What will be called into use will oh, be just, no. you know, too much, and you know I've managed to. Oh dear. So let's just we'll just let's not think ahead of ourselves, and um, yeah. No, yeah, no, not bought my tickets. But let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy but, the ride. It's so oh it's no, no, so joyous to see this group of young men playing with such absolute joie de vivre and and relishing each other's company as well. I think it really is that that band of mates playing together that you you feel honoured to watch. The 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 way they fit in together is is superb superb so yeah. yeah yeah so enjoy it lads um again knockout rugby is where you want to be yeah and uh this weekend knockout rugby comes to the gardens Ooh. so uh, <laughs> mr darben and julia chap julia chapman will be counting the coppers yes. uh and you know as extra bunts for the uh, uh yeah. for the uh, uh coffee fund and mm -hmm. other funds that are needed at the gardens so yeah it's um yeah really really exciting 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 times, times. So, exciting um, times yeah so brilliant so we will um catch up well i'll see you on sunday and we'll we'll catch up with a pod mm -hmm. next week sometime i goodness only knows when where who we'll have as guests who knows it's all 
you know. Who knows what's going on? Nobody Who knows. But uh, enjoy the ride, everybody. That yes. was the Ladies What Pod episode 21. 21. Thank you. Bye. Bye.